what would happen if you were if somebody asked you about your income and substitution effects of a higher tax? Well, what we'll do in this diagram is we'll use an income leisure diagram. This line here is your budget constraint. Here's your indifference curve. I'm going to assume that there's 52 weeks a year, maximum work hours um, is 60 hours a week. So if you don't work, you can have a maximum of 3,120 hours per year in leisure time. Or if you work and don't take any leisure time, you can use all that 3,120 hours to work. $10 an hour, $31,200. Pretty cool. Or let's say we have an average year, two weeks off, 40 hours a week, that's 2,000 hours a year. Well, 2,000 hours a year from this 3,120 means 1,120 hours of leisure. And so there's our indifference curve saying I want exactly that 20, that 2,000 hours of work, 1,120 hours of leisure. That's going to give me $10, $10 an hour at 2,000 hours a year, $20,000. Now let's tax this person at 10%. There's our tax, rotates the budget constraint down. So the more you earn, your tax is proportional, but the more you earn, the more you pay. So it rotates down like that. Next, what we want to do is let's assume, I'm going to assume in this case that the person chooses to work more, works an extra 50 hours. That implies if the person's working more, that the income effect is greater than the substitution effect. The reason there's an income effect working more, since you only get to keep $9 an hour instead of $10 an hour, you have to work more hours to make the same income. Substitution effect says that now that every hour you take is leisure, you only get to keep $9 instead of $10. Well, the cost of taking leisure time is lower, so work less. So over here on the left side of of straight down below this point over here is income effects greater than the substitution effect. On this side, income effect is, is less than the substitution effect. You work less, so you take more leisure time. So now let's draw our indifference curve. So I made it so income effects greater than the substitution effect because it's on the left side of this, of where we were originally. So there's less leisure, more work. Just repeating that again. We'll draw a dashed line straight through that point, that equilibrium point. That gives us 2,500, that is $10 times um, 1,000, or t times uh, the uh, 2,050, which is how much I work, will give me that 20,500. Now the $9 times the, the uh, how many hours am I taking work? 2,050, $9 times 2,050, 18,450. The different 20,500 minus 18,450 should be my tax. Tax should be $2,050. And so from here down to here is my, or if you can just look at it, add it over here. There's my income. There's my gross income, that's my net income. The difference between that number and this number is my tax. And I showed the effect of a proportional tax when the income effect is greater than the substitution effect. If you had a test question asking, what about if the income effect was less than the substitution effect, you just draw this point on the right over, you don't want to be over here, that, that would be the income effect. It's the same as the substitution effect, but on this side, and then the story stays the same. The difference would over here would be that would be the tax. Area down here would be the income. Hope that helped. Talk to you later.